Greetings, this is Earthman, Origami's Living Soil. Knowing that we have a great God who has provided for us a way to grow food that is not only tasty, but healthy. I mean, healthy in a sense where it heals our bodies. Foods that are high in antioxidants and nutrients that you can't get from chemicals and you can't even get from organic if you use liquid. Um, this is enzymes and acids that uh, bacteria and fungi give off that can't be replicated. And, um, and so what I have here is uh, my IMO1. Uh, I started a new batch. I really even need it, but I did it anyways. I had some leftover rice. And I put it in my IMO chamber, and uh, here's the mycocillin. Looks pretty good, uh, no problems that I see. And so what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna mix it with, um, I think there's like uh, three quarter cups of rice in there, maybe a cup. I'm gonna put that much uh, brown sugar in there and just mix it and uh, put it off the side and use it at my leisure. This stuff does last for quite a while. Uh, mine lasts for six months, and then after that, I. I take a look at it. I might get rid of it after that, but a good solid six months um, if you mix it, you know, the equal amounts of brown sugar in there. And um, let's take this out. And this is my IMO chamber. As simple as that. That's all you need to do to make your own IMOs, ind indigenous microorganisms. Instead, um, I went a little further. And um, let me go uh, into that down the road. Um, I'll do a separate video on my IMO chamber and how it works to me. Um, that's where the magic is. Uh, not magic, but uh, that's where all the good microbes. There is no magic. There's only God. And God is good all the time. Hey, remember, brothers and sisters, you agree, right? Because we're alive. And we are uh, looking at this. So you're looking at this. You are interested in growing organic and doing it right. You need life in your soil. It's as simple as that. You need potassium uh, mobilizers. You need bacteria that breaks down phosphorus and breaks down magnesium, iron, silica, um, and all the other different minerals. Uh, they just don't break down uh, by themselves. They need uh, some sort of enzyme or acid to break them down. Roots can't do it. And uh, granted, you know, throughout time and pH fluctuations in soil, that does happen, but it happens very slow. When you have bacteria in the mix, and then mycorrhizal fungi, I, um, I gotta have that, and that brings it back to the root system, and boom, there you go. You have a plant that's alive and thriving because it has all the nutrients being broken down for it, and it has a system to bring it to the root system, to the fungi. It's an amazing system that God has set up, my friends, my brothers and sisters. This is the key. The key is life in your soil. And then, of course, once you get the life in your soil, you add a lot of different type of minerals, rock dust, and NPKs in natural forms. And God has provided everything we need in the soil to put in the soil to make, I mean, make world hunger go away ten times over. But... We are being set up, my friends, set up to destroy all our good soil, to destroy us as men and women of earth. And um, it's all a mark of greed and power. But that's a different story. I am O one being made here. And, um, and uh, may God bless your day. I really hope that you are blessed.